I want to talk briefly about another thing that I think is worth thinking about, which is the cost of being public versus being private. Um, you know, the world has changed some, some that I don't think companies will have the opportunities that Epiphany did as an example, which is going public when you're unprofitable. Um, I think now it's going to be different. As you saw, I think Google did just a fabulous job of how they built the company, built a franchise. The founders brought in great adult supervision in Eric, well before the IPO, by the way, as we all know. And even when they did go public, have gone public, are still trying to maintain that private company philosophy. And as you all know, they've been very vocal with investors. It may be a bumpy ride. You know, it's like buy some shares of Google stock and you should get a seatbelt with them. That's what we used to say at Netscape because you knew you were doing something to try to capture a dominant place in a market and you could, you'd have to make some decisions that were for the long term, not just to meet Wall Street's quarterly expectations. But I think they really did it the right way. Now the cost of being public is much more than it used to be. Um, I will tell you that at Epiphany, after Sarbanes-Oxley, um, I asked our CFO how much money it was costing us in expenses, incremental, per year to be public versus private, if we turned around and went private tomorrow, bought back our shares, whatever. So what do you think? We're, a, we've, we're between an 80 and $100 million company. What do you think that, does anybody have a guess, what, what we spend annually? Two million was one guess? Increment of two million? Anybody else got a guess? And this is, again, due to Sarbanes-Oxley and all the regulatory legal issues you have to go through. It's actually $5 million for a company our size, incremental expense. Now, let me break that down for you. What's $5 million to an entrepreneur a year? That's one and a quarter million per quarter. What can you buy? What can I buy for a million and a quarter per quarter, per three-month period of time? I can buy 30 engineers for that. That's a lot. When you look at it in the context of the number of engineers that, that I can't have because I'm paying to be public. That's painful. I mean, I know very successful companies that did really well with 30 engineers, 30 really smart, talented people. So think about that. Um, it's, it's a real cost.